Now, Marty, are you sure that you can handle another round? Don't you think I'd be the first to know if I didn't had enough? <laughs> I don't think you would have a clue, my friend. Why don't you stop being the Jack Daniels police and pour me another? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Damn. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. You but should. I hope that you don't run into another runaway light pole like you did last month. <laughs> Man, I told you that in confidence. Hey, hey, hey. And I haven't told a soul. <laughs> well, nobody seen it, so therefore it didn't happen. And I didn't even have to call the police to figure out how to get home. You got lucky. No harm, no foul. It never happened. <laughs> Look, just be more careful out there tonight, Marty. Now, I'm being serious now. See, that's your problem, man. You're too damn serious. You got to loosen up your collar a little bit. You got to live before you die. I hear that. Mm -hmm. But living does not necessarily mean living dangerous. Oh, speaking of living dangerously. Martha or Jasper Sykes. I just knew, I knew, I knew I was going to find you up in here. God, what the hell are you doing here, woman? Hey, hey, whoa, uh, whoa. Now, come on now, Marty. You know how that word <laughs> says normal. Oh, the, the woman, please, come on. He didn't mean it. He meant sweetie. That's what the boy meant. Ain't that right, Marty? I called a cab down here to take you home. Now, give me your keys and show me where you parked. Look, I ain't giving you nothing, all right? Now, I got here by myself, and I plan on leaving by myself. Now, you can sit there, and we can share a talk with you. <laughs> I'm not sitting anywhere. And you, you coming home. Do you know what time it is? You know what? I think Norma's right on this, Marty. You know what? It, Did it's kinda... I ask you if she was right or wrong? No, but I'm, I'm just saying. Wouldn't stay at a grown folk conversation. Come on, Marty. Let's go home. You know tomorrow's a working day. Look, I know what day of the week it is, woman. Oh. <laughs> hey, Marty. Uh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come on, you know how that word sets her off. You Please. know what your problem is, Ned the bartender? You from a generation where women think they run everything. Mm-hmm. It started with Oprah in the 80s. Then it trinkled over in the 2000s. Man can't even be a man no more. And traitors like you is the one to blame. <laughs> Whatever you say, Marty. Look, all I'm trying to do is help you keep the peace. Keep the peace? Keep peace. Brother, I got this, all right? And as for you, did no one tell you to bring your ass down here to put me in check? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Martin, now you've had too much. Now the Bible says be mother in oh all things. I ain't trying to hear that Bible and, shit. And I'm not trying to preach to you, Martin, but this? This ain't working. You stay out late, three, four, nine out the week, coming home tore up. You have a son and a daughter you know, that needs you. Look, we ain't about to do that, all right? I take care of my kids. I put a roof over they, they back and, and, and they clothes in the refrigerator. Uh, look, it don't matter. I take care of my kids. Mark, a father needs to be more than a provider. Your daughter? Mm-hmm. Boys are starting to ask her out on dates. She better not be going on no damn dates. I never said she was dating, uh. but they are coming at her. And she needs a father to show her how to deal with that. Oh, and did you know Junior got suspended from the basketball team for throwing a ball at a referee during a game? Not Junior. Junior. Well, somebody need to teach him how to be a man and control that anger. How? How is he gonna learn if he isn't taught? Well, you be at home with him. I'll be at work. Okay, and there's only so much I can do. He needs a father's presence. Apparently, Junior threw the ball because he scored the winning shot during parents' night, looked into the booster section, and didn't see you there. You was here. You was right here. Well, I be working overtime to pay for all them, them, them <laughs> shoes he be wanting. And I'm sure he'd trade all two pairs in. 
for a game of horse like you used to play when he was little. Mm. Now, now, now why, mm. why are you trying to bring me down, woman? Hey, whoa, hey, look. <laughs> I think what, what Norma is trying to tell Did you Did I is, ask you what she think? N no, you, know you didn't, what, but... Uh, people look at you and they scratch their head. They wonder, mm -mm. Huh, what kind of career path did you have growing up to make you want to be a bartender? <laughs> like, who's your high school guidance counselor, brother? <laughs> oh, now, Marty. <laughs> now, you, you, you ain't got to be nasty now. <laughs> Let's not do that, brother. I mean, it's a legit question. Ooh. What made Ned the bartender want to be Ned the bartender? <laughs> I want to hear this. You, you, you know, Marty, it's really none of your business. Uh -huh. But I have a bachelor's and a master's degree in financial management. <laughs> <laughs> so what, you could calculate 15% in your head? Uh, Ain't nobody going to cheat your own tips? This <laughs> year the boy said I calculate the 15% in my head. <laughs> You're funny, uh, man. That boy funny. Okay. I mean, you, you got to think about it. You're like, this is one hell of a place to take your degree. <laughs> Again, it's none of your business. <laughs> but after campus, I went straight to the New York Stock Exchange. That's right, New York, uh, where I was a successful broker for about nine years. Huh. And then when the markets crashed back in 2008, I lost most of it. Damn. So what? Now you're working minimum wage? <laughs> oh, no, brother. I own this place. Wait, what? And two more on the other side of town. <laughs> it was my investment with the money I had left over. Uh oh, and each year, business is better than the last. And I'm not out here popping Valiums and doing lines of cocaine like other brokers I know that's still out there trying to make it work. <laughs> so, Marty... While you are stressing that nine to five, <laughs> I'm living the dream, brother. <laughs> well, do a little I give a damn about you, Ned? <laughs> Honestly, no. But I care about you. And your wife is right, man. You do not need to be getting out in these mean streets tonight in your condition. Look, let me tell you something, brother, all right? I'm a grown-ass man. I ain't gonna listen to no woman. And I for damn sure ain't about to listen to no bartender. Because at the end of the day, you just one thing. Yeah, what's that? A bartender. I ain't paying you no mind, man. Uh, can I help you, ma'am? Um, yeah, can I get a water back with a, a, a whiskey with a sour water back, please? I got you. Coming right on up. Coming right up. Mark. Whoa. Listen to me. Okay, all I'm trying to do is get you to where you need to be doing the things you should be responsible for doing. That's all. That's right. Now, can we please go home? You know what? Damn kid, you know what? You know what? You've been, you been stressing me all damn day. So you know what? Here, take them. I get there when I get there. Now I take an Uber when I'm ready to go home. I'm not leaving without you, Martin. Well, then I advise you to sit down. I'm about to watch this Laker game that come on at nine. Mm -hmm. You got TVs in every single room of the house. Now, I didn't say what I needed to say, all right? Now, look, if your mission was to make sure I don't drink and drive, good job. Now, I said I get there when I get there. I'll take an Uber. You happy? Not even a little bit. So you really not coming home with me? I ain't got time for it. Ned, turn this up. I can't hear. Now, you know good and well that's the loud the TV go. People got to hear themselves think, Marty. Come on now. People? Yeah. Man, ain't nobody in this crummy dump but us. <laughs> you know what, Marty? If you want to hear the play-by-play, -play, then go home. Why? Well, you go to hell. Now, cool it now. <laughs> now, don't let that mouth write no checks that your behind can't cash. Now, you know good and well, we don't have no profanity around the ladies. Around the ladies? These ladies got you neutered. And it's so damn sad. Now, you know what, Marty? The thing that's sad what? is the fact... What? 
Why am I even wasting my time? Yeah. I don't I don't know. Yeah. Why? I, yeah. And you still here. You know what? I give up. Dang. I don't care if you don't ever come home, Martin, because you ain't never going to change, and I'm over it. So you know what? As far as I'm concerned, you can just consider yourself paroled from this so-called prison. Do what you want to do. Uh, wow. You hear that? After all I gave her, that's how she at. You ain't gave me nothing but headaches, and I am sick of it. I am sick of you. And I'm sick of the trifling shit your ass been doing to hurt our kids. Now, now you get, get her. Hey, oh, now she, now hey, she cussing. Hey, hey. And you ought to feel blessed. There's a lot of big booty stallions that want this. Ain't a stallion a male horse. Come on, man. You know what? Yeah, you got it. it feels like more of a curse living with you. Uh, you just need to be all the way in or get all the way out. Half a man is worse than no man at all. Well, bye, Felicia. Go to hell. Living with you, I'm already there. What? And I'm gonna tell the pastor you out here cussing. Sit down. Oh, Sit sorry. down. Sorry. sorry about that. You right. I'm oh, that ain't you. That's your business. <sighs> ain't got nothing to do with me. Uh, what is wrong? What are you doing? What are you doing? Jesus Christ. Excuse me for staring, but. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, I know. You know. I think I look like a. Uh, Killmonger or something. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Definitely not Michael B. Jordan. But, uh, um, did you go to Roosevelt High School? Listen, you look like this football player I had a mad crush on back in the uh, day. A crush? I was just too shy to ever tell him. But, nah. Are you Aaron Adams? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's Marty. Well, my friends, that you know, they call me Marty, but um, you know, what? You, I do remember you from Roosevelt High. Mm-hmm. You was just so fine, and now you just even finer now. Weren't you like homecoming or, or prom queen, something like that? <laughs> you got jokes? <laughs> 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 no, if, if, I hadn't filled out yet, so I was this skinny little girl with droopy hair and glasses. If oh. anything, I was queen of the nerds. <laughs> yeah, but see, you was cute then. Mm. Now you just playing old fine now. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, where's the ladies' room? Uh, pass the jukebox on your left. Mm. Uh-huh, going right back there. Don't touch nothing. Uh, make sure you drop and flush, wash your hands, all that good stuff. All right, she's gone. Now what are you doing? <laughs> Man, what? You went to Crispus Attucks High School, fool. And you at least 10 years older than her. What are you talking about, Aaron Adams? What? What? Look, you stay in your lane, brother, all right? And what about the fact that you are a married man? Apparently she knows she don't care. Uh, she might have just thought that was a girlfriend or something. Ooh, you know what? You're right, hold on. Let me take this ring off. That's the, that was smart thinking, see? That the degrees did that. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let me understand something. You expect me to just sit back and just watch this whole charade. That, that's what you want me to do? It don't matter, all right? The bro code prohibits any cock blocking, all right? Look, don't let the word get out that this is a holy place, all right? This is a tavern, a playground for the married man, all right? Now look, if you can't handle it, then get rid of this liquor and start serving milk and cookies. And I'll tell everybody it's a Boy Scout den. Now just be cool, brother, all right? Whatever happens, happens. Just be calm, be cool, all right? You, I'll tell you what, just, boy, you ain't, you ain't shoot, shoot, shoot. coming back. What are coming. the odds that so late at night I wander into this neighborhood bar <laughs> and come across a dear old acquaintance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go figure, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what brings you in tonight, ma'am? Oh, I'm staying at the Hampton Inn and Suites just around the corner. I got a red eye flight, crack of dawn. It's no sense of going to sleep. Okay. So I decided to take a little walk. Saw your lights on, stopped on in. Okay. Know. Well, on behalf of the city of Indianapolis, mm -hmm. I personally want to thank you for gracing our bar with your presence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, make sure when you get back to Seattle now, you got to tell everybody about Ned's place now. Come on now. Oh. You got to tell them. You got to talk to them. You got to tell them. <laughs> without a doubt. All right, all right. Yeah. 
But you know what? Odds must be astronomical, me and you would ever meet again. Yes. I mean, psh, you were a few grades above me, so we would have never met at a reunion. <laughs> yes. It was like tonight or never. Samos. Mm. Serendipitous. You, you know what? That's crazy. Cause I was just telling Ned here that that was uh Serendipidu. Um, yeah, but that but do Sarah. Mm, okay. Payway, um, Sarah. Was that your girlfriend? Oh that? yeah, something like that. But uh, what you been up to since uh Roosevelt High? Oh well, I've been all over the place career wise. Mm. I um. Uh, Started thinking that I wanted to go to law school and psh, yeah, right. wasted years of education before I decided I couldn't stand the thought of lying for a living. Well, uh, <laughs> you know I'm a, I'm a corporate attorney. <laughs> right. Probably yeah. a great one. Wait, huh? But you know the profession in oh, general. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well you know, um, I came up with a... Couple of jokes. Oh, the way. That's, well, hey now, yeah. the mic is all. Hey, don't oh, get, don't give him the microphone. <laughs> Woo, is this thing on? Test it. All right. What do you call uh-huh, a lawyer with the IQ of a hundred? I don't know. Judge. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> Woo. Okay. This 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 gonna knock you dead, right? Oh. What do you call a lawyer with the IQ? Of fifty, you don't have to answer that. Mm, you don't. I don't know what. Senator, <laughs> drop the mic <laughs> and don't pick it back up. <laughs> Leave it right there. That was that was a good one. <laughs> um. <laughs> hey, can I uh buy you a drink? Uh. <laughs> Dudley, do right here won't uh, let me have enough. <laughs> <laughs> he's well, he's probably doing the right thing. Yeah. But hey. He can stop you from drinking, uh-huh. but he cannot stop you from dancing. Hey, oh, man. it's my jam. Oh, oh. hey, you see that? I see something. You know what that remind me of? <laughs> What's that? A Caribbean breeze on a summer night, girl. You so funny. You know what? You look like a guy, man that's got some on his mind. And uh, from what I can tell, them is some dirty thoughts racing through your head. Kind of hard to conceal myself. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard. <laughs> well, <laughs> I really hate to be the bearer of bad news. I know, I know. We ain't got to go, but we got to get, get, get on the about here, about here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, we've been kicked out of finer places than this. I bet you have it. We? Yeah. I like the sound of that. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, this is like perfect timing. Yeah, this is perfect timing. Get some of that, girl. Whoa, 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 now. I thought you weren't in a hurry. We've got all night, right? Yeah, yeah, of course we got all night. <laughs> I got all night. So I was wondering, um, what did you think of me in high school? I mean, uh, we did sit at the same table in the cafeteria every day. <laughs> you probably didn't even notice a plain Jane like me. <laughs> what? <laughs> why, would you, why would you say that? <laughs> now, nah, look, I'm, I'm different from the other boys. Right, uh, you know, I, I figured you was a late bloomer, like a, a ugly duckling to a swan or a, a caterpillar to a butterfly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Wait, wait, wait a second. So what you're trying to say is you saw me as some creepy little caterpillar bug or some long neck jacked up duck? No, no, no. See, uh, those are uh, expressions. I saw uh-huh. your, your beauty even then. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What about my inner beauty? Uh huh. Your in, your inner beauty. Yeah, I saw that too. Mm. How? How? From my third eye. Ah. Yeah, I seen it with this. Oh, yeah. so like uh, mm-hmm. in your spirit, in your mental. Yeah, all that. Mm-hmm. Mm, all that's the way down to the. Kind of kind of spooky. Well, I'm different from the other boys. <laughs> yeah. Different. Let me ask you a question. Okay, okay. Um, would you think of me differently tonight if I gave you some? What? No, I would, I would say this is a woman who knows what she wants. 
she ain't afraid to get what she needs. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, two more questions. Okay. Um, when I go back to Seattle, would you come back and visit me? Or uh, if I came to Indianapolis, would you make time for me? I need you to tell me the truth. The truth? Hell yeah, I'll come see you, girl. You see how fine you is. <laughs> okay, last question. Okay. Um, how do you look at your wife or girlfriend or whatever she is? How do you look at her knowing that you've been kicking it with me all night long? Look, after she had that baby, you know, the love was dead. You know, I, uh, after that uh, second child, you know, I just had to stay. Well, what happened to the love? Uh, it was dead. There's no love there. Uh, you know, it's, it's been lost. And it's all right, I guess. Do you think sleeping with me is going to make that better? Look, whether we do this or not, it can't hurt, right? <laughs> Listen, let me go slip into something more comfortable. Oh, okay. You know what? I think you should do the same. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'll be back, big boy, okay? Okay, all right. Cousin Joe. Hey, what, what's going on? Are, are you awake? I am there. What you want? Look, I was at Ned's spot, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, look. And then Norma, she wanted to come in, right? Start trying to regulate some oh, shit. Oh, Norma, okay. Yeah, exactly. So you know how I do. I kicked her out, and then this big booty stallion comes walking in, right? Hold on, ain't a stallion a male horse? Now, why does everybody keep saying that? Look, it don't matter. Anyway, so she tried saying that I look like some guy she went to school with. Oh, Lord. So you know how I do. You lie. I so did. Uh, I lied and said I was him. Uh, now, okay. I'm in her hotel room. Oh, you something else, boy, I <laughs> But look, it's all good, though, because I'm going to call you after I get what I get. You okay, know what I mean? Uh, let me know. Let me all know. All right, I got to go. Be uh. You know... I love a good toast. <laughs> yeah, Have a yeah. seat, darling. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Ooh, oh, let's yeah. see. <laughs> so, uh, what we what we toasted to? Hmm, I don't know. Mm. How about we toast oh, to uh, wow. the <laughs> unexpected? Yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't think either of us saw this night coming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> strong hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, bottoms up. <laughs> Check out. Ooh, you got a, got a kick to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, so, uh, let's get this party started. Oh, no, oh, slow your roll, dear. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <sighs> We've all right. got all night, remember? Yeah, right, First, right, right. First, okay. I think that we should, uh, just take a stroll down memory lane. You know, look at some of our sweetest captured moments. Uh, uh, uh photographs. Oh, yes. <laughs> A whole scrapbook full. <laughs> now, now, you know, I, I, I didn't change um, since Honey, dear, the I years. know. You know, it's just fun to reminisce. Right. Listen, right. how about you just thumb through? I'm going to go to the little lady's room. You know, my bladder isn't what it used to be in high school. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Cousin Joe. Uh, what you want, man? Look, remember I told you about that chick? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Brother, why she got a scrapbook of the dude I was telling you about? Okay, yeah. I don't look nothing like him. This man Asian. You're not him. Exactly. But you know what? I don't even give a care. I give a fuck about it. Because you know what? I'm still going to crash this psycho chick. That's how you got your wife. Wait, what? Hey, that's your business. Anyway. All right, good, good. I, I'll, I'll call you back later. All right. Who are you talking to? Uh, nobody. I ain't talking to nobody. I ain't talking. Uh, liar. No, see, uh, I'll just leave myself a voicemail. You won't need it. What, what you doing with this stupid getup? <laughs> stupid? At one point, this... Symbolized all my fondest dreams. To be the center of some man's attention. A loving wife. A mother. 
so why are you wearing the wedding stuff then? Did you look at the scrapbook? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I, I changed over the, the years and I don't... Change my ass! Cut the charade. You ain't Aaron Adams. That is Aaron Adams. <laughs> okay. Did you think I was that stupid? Okay, you know what? I can feel that the vibe is getting off again. I felt the third eye. So I'm going to just go ahead and head out. Oh, you who ain't going nowhere. You might as well sit your ass down. <laughs> Look, I don't know what your problem is, but uh, I'm just going to really? skedaddle. Really? <laughs> really? My problem? You're my problem. You and every dog like you. Wait. I shouldn't call you a dog. <laughs> I had a Shih Tzu and a Cocker Spaniel, and neither of them were half the trash that you are. Okay, look, you, you don't even know me, all right? <laughs> and yet you felt it was okay to sleep with me, all while living a lie. You know what? This is all crazy, psycho. You know, have fun back home. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I was wondering when that was gonna kick in. You're not feeling too hot, huh? Oh, you crazy. <laughs> Bitch, you put something in my drink? Oh, there you go, with that name calling again. <laughs> I didn't do this to you. You did this to yourself. You had no business hitting on me at that bar. And you even decided to follow me back to my hotel room. Knowing you got a family at home. And then, you could have listened to your conscience, if you had one. And ran out the door the first time, but no. You just had to make sure you told your friend you hit it in the morning. Well, guess what? This is the ultimate price for your bad behavior. You pay with your life. Uh, this, is a, this is a nightmare. Lady, my chest is on fire. Uh, oh, yeah. that's, that's normal. Don't worry. The pain will ease in a minute. But don't get too comfortable. That just means the poison is setting through your veins. Pretty soon, it'll all be over, and you'll be free from your misery and your prison life. Look, lady, you, you gotta help me, please. You know, this right here, this, this little baggie here, this is the antidote. Please this give, <laughs> could save your life. Please give it to me. Oh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> lady, why are you doing this? You know, I thought you would never ask. You need to listen closely. First, you need to understand this is something that I'm not doing to you. You're doing it to yourself. Then you need to ask yourself, why would a man of your stature put himself in such a compromising position? What? You set me up. You entrapped me. See, you know, that, that's your problem. That he never take responsibility. Responsibility? <sighs> Responsibility for what? For the fact that no one can make you do anything. <laughs> I gave you several opportunities to get out of this. But no, so important to hit it. Well, guess what? <laughs> this is the price you pay. It just never dawned on you to just say, you got me for the wrong person. I can't screw you under false pretenses. Oh my God, my ears are ringing. Oh, it's okay, that's a natural part of the stage. Uh, but I need to hurry up, listen very closely. On this day, six years ago, I was standing at the altar. I was going to be Mrs. Aaron Adams. I was gonna prove to everyone that they were wrong. I was not making a mistake. This was the love of my life. Just days before the wedding, he decides that we should secure our finances. So we go and we co-sign on each other's accounts. <laughs> I thought nothing's wrong. We're gonna spend the rest of our life together. Just hours after the wedding was scheduled to begin, I realized that he wasn't going to show up. <laughs> there I was, left at the altar, looking like the ultimate idiot. <laughs> oh, 
to add insult to injury, the bank calls me and lets me know that uh, all my bank accounts are overdrawn. <laughs> I call, check his accounts. They're all closed. <laughs> that man left me looking like the ultimate idiot, and he took everything. My heart, my soul. Look, lady, I'm sorry about what happened to you. What's that got to do with me? <laughs> he was you! What? <laughs> He is you! You're all the same. <laughs> same heartbreak. Same devastation. Same horny hustle. Say and do whatever you want to get laid. Nothing changes. Nothing changes but the names and the places. But it's all the same heartbreak. Look, you can't leave me here to die. Please. Oh, see? Last part. <laughs> Every year on this same day, I walk into a little bar and I find some sap like you just waiting to do anything to get laid. <laughs> and every year on this same day, I give him a little deadly dose for playing with folks' emotions. Yeah. And every what? year on this same day, I watch him beg for mercy, just like you. And I ignore them and I watch them die. <laughs> oh my God, lady, that's, that's murder. You're gonna go to jail. No, I'm gonna go back to Seattle. What? You're not gonna get away with this? They always catch them. Did you miss the part where I've been getting away with this for six years? What? Murder is the most unsolved crime in America. So, so what are you gonna do, take me with you or something? Oh, no, silly. That would be a little too messy. I came with an oversized stuffed suitcase. Of course, it was empty when I came in, but I'm gonna stuff it with your body oh. on the way out. I got plenty of IDs. I never check into the same hotel twice with the same ID. Matter of fact, what? This ain't even my real hair. Oh my God, it's a man. Oh. Oh my. We do not have much time. Listen, I'm gonna go get my suitcase. What? You just stay here and relax. Happy anniversary, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> That's why your hands were so damn strong. Yeah. <sighs> God, come on. Come on, Marty. Yeah, so I slipped away and uh, got the antidote, and then here I am a year later. Changed man. I tell you, man, that's amazing. <laughs> I tell you, man, she didn't even look like a threat. Man, looks can be deceiving, bro. Boy, you ain't never lied, boy. Whew. Now, Marty, I got to ask you. Yes, sir. How did that whole experience change you? Well, it's been over a year since I've been here. Uh-huh. And what have I been sipping on? Diet Coke. <laughs> exactly, brother. Exactly. Man, I'm a changed man. Like, I don't know. I feel great. You know? That player card. Cut up. Yeah. That's me. I, I don't know if I'm buying it, Marty. Come I don't know if now. I'm buying what you're selling, man. I don't know. Brother, look. Uh, I'm good. I got my life back in order, man. I'm great. Marty, I must say, my brother, I'm proud of you, man. I'm very proud of you. Thank you came a long way. Thank you. I remember you. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a freak right there. That wasn't a little freak. You know, <laughs> you know I had 
that dude, man. Let me take this, man. You know, they can't wait. You know, let me get this. No, no, say so. I told you I've had enough. Please stop coming to my condo. No, I'm going to call cops on you. Listen, you just can't seem to keep it in your pants, and I'm done. Go on and find somebody that, that's right for you, and I'm going to try to do the same. Okay? Bye. <clears throat> Is uh everything okay, ma'am? It's going to be. <laughs> well, uh, can I get you anything to drink? Um, yeah, uh, sex on the double, please. Burr? <laughs> How's about I get you a sex on the beach <laughs> and I'll make it a double? Yeah, 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 let's yeah. do that. That's, that's Ooh, what she meant. Whoa, Lord. Ooh, oh, let me. She, she got me nervous. <laughs> yeah. Is this the oh, right? Sex on the beach. Ooh, this got hot. <laughs> <laughs> Try that, baby. Tell me what you think about that. <laughs> Try that. Tell me what you think. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. All right. You know, I had to get my Tidex his walking papers today. <laughs> Listen, I have receipts uh, on his behind, and Molly. Oh, right. oh, 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 I'm so, it's, I'm so it's sorry. Okay. So, I'm uh, so, gotta, so, so clumsy. Uh, Strong hands. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tastes a little blood. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so um. <laughs> uh, what? Man, it don't make no sense, man. Look, she can have anybody she want. Uh, except you, right, Marty? Because you learned your lesson, right, brother? Yeah, you you yeah, just said yeah. your player's yeah. card, you yeah, cut yeah, it yeah, up, yeah. put it in the garbage disposal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. done, right? You're done, right? Right, but... I, okay. I just don't get it, though. Look, at least let me let me pay for her drink or something, man. Hey. Look. Just handle that. Excuse me, uh, young man. Uh -oh. Right. Um, uh -oh. Do you know of anywhere a girl can go dance this buzz off? Uh, yeah, this is um spot down the uh, down a couple blocks. It's called the the blue um room, room. blue room. Yeah, that's that's the place. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess that's walking distance, you know. I, I took a cab here. Uh, I mean, it is kind of far. Um, uh, Marty, <laughs> eye on the prize, brother. Stay focused now. Come guess on. I guess I can take a Uber, maybe. Uh, why would you spend money on that when I I could literally just take you? Oh, you what? don't mind. He should. Uh, I mean, it's... It's it's not that far, you know. I'm, it's just a ride. Marty. It's just a ride. Marty. You know what? I'm Marty, gonna, brother, I'm wait. Ahead. Look, I'm gonna get my Marty. car, and bring it up front, and I I let you know what I'm here. Right. So I got you. I got it's you. I got your right. EBT right. card. I got it. your card. Mar what? <clears throat> Please excuse me, ma'am. I don't mean to stare. But you look oddly familiar. I just got one of those faces. <laughs> that, that may be, but in this line of business, you don't forget a face. Now, I, I know I've seen you. Uh, sorry, I don't even go to bars. <laughs> I don't go to bars. <laughs> My mistake, sister. My mistake. But I, I know I've, I've seen you like somewhere. Right? Well, I'll see you later. Ned. <laughs> All right. You know what? I ain't giving Marty enough credit. That brother has came a long way. He learned his lesson, cut up that player's card. The brother's going to be all right. That brother's going to be all right. I'll see you later, Ned. <laughs> hey, love to say my name. Ned. Now I, I I never told her my name. Now, 
Wait a minute. She looked just like the woman that came. That came in about a year ago from, from Seattle. Her and Marty had left together. Marty had went through that whole crazy ordeal with that woman. She's the same woman that, that came from that almost killed Marty. No, no, Marty. Oh, oh, not again.